Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games. Today we're going to continue on where we left off with the inventory in our survival series last video. So, let's go ahead and get started. Now, uh, inside of our add item function of our inventory component, we want to uh, come after the open spaces variable here. And what we're going to do is take our inventory, we're going to get it, and we're going to run it through a for each loop. Now, what we're going to do with this for each loop is basically look through each item and check to see if that item's class is equal to uh, the class of the item we're trying to add. And the reason we want to check that is because if they're the same, then we want to check if we can stack, and if we can stack, then we're going to stack the items. All right. Um, so with that, uh, what we're going to do is take array element, we'll say get class, then we'll take the return value, we're going to check if it's equal to class, and the class we want to check if it's equal to is our local class variable which again was created right over here. Okay, so now if this is true, or we're gonna do a branch, excuse me, plug it into loop body. Um, but yeah, now if this is true, we're gonna take this array element and we're gonna promote it to a local variable. And we'll call this L underscore item for local item. Okay. Now with this variable, we're gonna drag off and say get can stack. And this will return, of course, whether or not the item is stackable. So we'll do a branch from there, plug that in. And now off of true, we're gonna continue checking, uh, but false, we will stop. And uh, we're gonna do some other stuff later on. Uh, but again, I'll get to that in a little bit. Um, so yeah, next what we wanna do is take our local item, we're gonna get it, and we're gonna get room on the stack. Okay, and this will return how much room we have on a particular item. Okay, and we're gonna check if this is greater than zero. Because if it is, then that means that we have some, you know, some space on that stack. So we'll do a branch again. If I can spell, that'd be great. Plug that into true. Okay. Next, we'll take our item here. I'm going to get it. And what we want to do is say get amount. All right. Then we're also going to get the max stack amount. And now with get amount here, we're going to say plus. So integer plus integer. And we're going to add the local amount there. All right. Now with this, we're going to check if this return this value here is less than or equal to our max stack amount. And essentially what this does is it checks if uh, our current amount plus the amount we're trying to add will go over our uh, you know our max stack amount for that particular item. And the reason we want to check this is because if it does go over, then you know we need to look for another slot that we can add the item to, okay? Um, however, if it doesn't go over, then we'll simply, you know, increase that amount or that item's amount. All right. So we'll do a branch again. Plug in true. All right. And now off of true, all we're going to do is take our local item. We're going to get it. And we're going to get the amount. We're going to say amount plus. So we're going to add an integer. And the value that we'll add is that local amount. Okay. And then we'll use that to set the amount. So we'll take this return value, plug it in, hook up true. And there we go. That's all we need to do. And then the last thing uh, off of this true branch is we'll add the return node. Because at this point, we have successfully added an item. Okay. Uh, now we need to handle the false case. So if this is false, we're going to do another branch. Oops. And we're going to check to see if our open spaces is greater than zero. OK, so we're going to get this, check if it's greater than zero, uh, because we need to verify that we have another open space in the inventory. Um, OK, so right away, if this is false, then we can return that the item was not successfully added. OK. However, if it's true, then we're going to take our item, we're going to get it, and uh, this time we want to get the room on the stack, and we want to take our local amount, and we want to subtract the room on the stack from our amount. Okay, and if you recall, room on the stack is our max stack amount minus our current amount. Okay, so basically this is like essentially saying fill up that stack, and then um, we'll use this to set the new local amount so that um, you know that extra amount above the max stack 
can carry over into the next item. So hopefully that made sense. Um, it'll be more apparent once we test it out. So anyways, we're gonna take this value and say set L amount. All right, plug it into true. And then we'll take our local item, we'll get it, and we will get the max stack amount. And then we'll say set amount. We're gonna plug this in like so, and then we're gonna set the amount to our max stack amount because like I said before, it's essentially filling up our inventory, or excuse me, not our inventory, but filling up that particular item stack to the max that it can be. Now, once this function has finished executing, we're gonna come down here and we're gonna do a for each loop with break this time. And we're gonna loop through our inventory and we want, what we want to do now is, you know, find the next open slot uh, or open space because, you know, if this is true, then we're assuming there is an open space. Um, so we're going to look for that open space. So we'll take the array element, we'll get the class, and this time we're going to check if it's equal to the empty inventory item. So we'll search for empty inventory item empty. All right, and then we'll do a branch, of course. Okay and we'll plug the loop body into the branch. And now, basically what we wanna do is, every time this is false, uh, let's create a, yeah, we're gonna create a new local variable really quick, we'll call this L underscore index. Okay, and this will represent the current index uh, that we're at in our array. Okay, so we'll drag this out, we'll say set. Uh, but basically, anytime this is false, we're gonna set this to negative uh, one, which is you know kind of like a value that you use um, whenever you know there's an invalid index, okay? But if it registers as true, then we're gonna say set L index to the index of um, you know whatever element triggered true, okay? Or, or basically, we're gonna set the index to that open slot, all right? And then on completed, or excuse me, no, next what we need to do is take this and plug it into the break because we know that we've found the open slot so we no longer need to continue looping. So I'm gonna add a re little uh, reroute node there by double clicking on the line just to make things a little tidier. I'm gonna add another one just to space things out a little bit so it's not so cluttered, I guess. Okay, so now on completed, we are going to do another branch and this time we're simply gonna check if our index is greater than or equal to zero, basically. Um, so we'll say greater than or equal to zero, uh, or you could check if it's not equal to negative one, all right? Either way, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then basically, if it is, uh, if it's true, then we're going to say construct object from class. Now the class we wanna create is this L class, which again is the item we're trying to add. Okay, and then outer is the you know class that's going to own this object. So we're going to say self, so that this component owns the object. Then what we're going to do is take this return value. We'll say set amount because we want to set the current amount of this to whatever's left over from the previous stack. Okay, and then finally, uh, we'll take our inventory. We'll get it. And we're going to say set array element. All right. And we're going to set uh, the index of that current index to a value of the item that we just constructed. All right. And then from there, we'll return that we successfully added an item. Otherwise, if it's false, then we'll return that we didn't successfully add an item. Okay. So we'll go ahead and hit compile really quick. And so the last thing that we need to do in this function is go find this can stack again. And for the branch here, we'll take this false and we're gonna go connect it to the for each loop with break. Uh, because basically, if we do find an item that is you know, the same class for whatever reason and it can't, you know, it's not stackable, then we're immediately going to um, you know, come down here and look for another open slot, okay? Now, however, if um, you know, if we end up lo looping through and we don't find any items that are the same class, or we find an item that's of the same class but it doesn't have room on the stack, uh, then you know once it's completed, 
then we'll go look for you know an open slot again and try to add that amount you know and try to construct the new object okay and so there we go we have our function created it's quite a big one as you can tell um, but it is a very important function so I think we're gonna go ahead and stop the video here and in the next one we'll continue on uh, and actually test this out uh, by adding some interaction uh, you know with items in the world and you know actually picking up items so um, anyways thank you guys for watching I hope you liked the video if you like it like or subscribe and I will see you in the next one